babe? Are you awake? What time is it? No way. It's so late. Why are you on your phone? Well, that's not going to help you fall asleep. No, the light didn't wake me up. Mm mm. Hmm? I don't know. I just woke up and couldn't feel you next to me. You've got me used to waking up to find you wrapped around me, no matter what time I wake up. So, yeah, I think sleeping me was a little confused and worried that you weren't there. Come on, love, put the phone away. Come back to me. That screen light won't be doing you any favours. Mm, nope. Mm. What is it that's keeping you up? Are you struggling to fall asleep? Hmm. Yeah, it can be hard to switch off once you wake up at a random time like this. Don't let your mind think too much. <laughs> I know, that's kind of impossible. It's so annoying when you tell yourself that you just want to close your eyes and go to sleep. And your mind will be like, remember that one time when you snorted while laughing in first aid class in college? <laughs> um, that may or may not be based on true events. <laughs> For sleepy time's sake, Let's go with fiction. <laughs> no, there's nothing more to the story. I mean, apart from the fact that it just made me laugh even harder after that. But the snort was a one-time freak occurrence. Yes, it was. It's never happened since... Not that I can remember, anyway. I don't know why I remembered that. I don't think of it as embarrassing. Not now, anyway. If anything, I wish I could laugh that hard again. Just without the snort. <laughs> I'm not exactly newsworthy, but I love to laugh. Out loud, because you just can't help it, and you can't control it. <laughs> it's so freeing. Why do you think I keep you around, huh? No one can make me laugh as much as you do. No, that's not your only purpose. You're good for... Warming up the bed, too. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, don't you dare try to escape me. Mm -mm. You're trapped. And the sooner that you come to terms with it, the better it will be. Hmm. I guess I wouldn't know if I was the one who's actually trapped. If it's with you, I'm more than happy to oblige. Hmm. 
but let's not get distracted. I'm trying to help you fall back to sleep again. Hmm. Yeah, look at the time. No, actually, don't look at the time. You just put your phone away. No, it's not important. We both know how late it is. We don't need to know the exact time. If you try anything, I'll take your phone away from you. What? You don't think I can take it from you? You have your ways, darling, and I have mine. And as things stand, we run the risk of going to sleep at a ridiculously late time if we keep this up. So, close your eyes. Yeah? <laughs> of course we can do that. Your turn to go koala mode today. Mm. I do like it like that, but I'm too short for that. I feel bad for being short and not to mention I worry about suffocating you because I end up hugging your head to my chest and I love that I can smell your hair like that too. No, that's not weird. You do that with me all the time. Exactly. Hmm. Really? You sleep better when I hug you like that? Is it the lack of oxygen? <laughs> hmm. I get that. The light doesn't bother you that way, and I just love hiding my face. Why do you think my favourite place to hide my face is between your arm and chest? And that way I can still feel your heartbeat too. What's wrong babe? You prefer being here. I like it too. But you have to promise that you'll behave. I know you can smell my hair this way. But you're also nibbling on my neck. <laughs> you know how sensitive my neck is. What's gotten into you so late at night? I promised you cuddle time to help you sleep, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. I, I shan't break. I'm doing this as much for you as myself. Hmm. A noble cause indeed. So you should make it easier for the both of us, shouldn't you? Mm hmm Close your eyes, my love. We have to be up and about in a few hours. And it won't be much fun if we're both tired. Mm hmm And how am I sneaky? I just really felt like playing with your hair. I don't know what's so sneaky about that. <laughs> mm hmm Yes, one of the many reasons why I keep you around. I love trailing my fingers through your soft hair. Slowly and softly. I can't help it. I love to hear your moans. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. All of them. Just another one of an infinite number of reasons of why I keep you. Are you sure about that? We could be here for a long time if I try to list them all. Do you know how long infinity is? Hmm. Not long enough. Okay. Well, we already know you're the funniest. And your hair smells divine. <laughs> My oh-so-humble beloved. Mm. No, I wouldn't change a single thing about you. I want you for you, not for what I think you should be. Well, I don't think you should be anyone but yourself. As long as you're happy, so am I. But that's true, there are things that we all want to change about ourselves. I don't know if that ever changes, and to be fair, I don't think that it ever should, as long as we're changing for the better. Isn't that something that we would all like to do and be? A slightly better person than we were the day before. <laughs> yes, you are. You know, I didn't think it was possible to love you more than I already do. And then you go and prove me wrong by making me love you more and more with each passing day. If that's the case, then I hope you continue to prove me wrong every single day of my life. No, I wouldn't mind. I look forward to it. Are you sleepy yet? Baby, are you sleeping? As you will no doubt say in the morning, my evil plan was successful. My oh so evil plan of cuddling you and playing with your hair until you fall asleep. You are asleep, right? <laughs> Not pretending. Sweet dreams, my love. My love who taught me how to love myself. Even if I could turn all that love towards you, it still wouldn't be enough.